Gentlemen, welcome back to the Microwave Lab. I've got a quick tip for you today, just a tip and only for a minute. So uh, I've been thinking a lot recently about noise and circuits and what we can do to reduce noise in our radios and prevent noise from getting in. And so one of the main ways that noise can get in, into your radio is through the power supply or through the power cable. So what happens is when, when your radio is plugged in, obviously through a, through a cable, if you have this somewhere near your, um, your antenna cable, which in my car, it, it, that's how it is, and uh, you can get noise from the cable induced into the into the power cable, so you have to do something about that to, to kill, the, kill that signal or, or possibly uh, block it, prevent it from getting in. So I, I set up a little, uh, little schematic here. Um, what I've done is I'm using this function generator to serve as, as our power supply, and right now I have that set to uh, a 12-volt supply just like you'd use with your radio. Um, and I, I added a little bit of noise uh, at uh, its 10 millivolts peak or 20 millivolts peak to peak, and I set it at uh, that's channel 20 on CB 27.205 megahertz. So that's a little imagine uh, a little bit of noise induced into the power line um, of your radio uh, from your antenna or from stray signals or or who knows what. And so to um, to kill that signal or dump it to ground, we can use a capacitor. So that's what I've added here. These one ohm resistors represent the the power line, uh, the resistance of the line, and this 500 ohm resistor is just a placeholder for the radio itself as it's as it's drawing in power. So the the only addition is this one microfarad capacitor, and that was sort of an arbitrary value that I chose. That's what I had laying around to actually add to the radio. So uh, if you can see, like I said, we've got uh, 20 millivolts peak to peak over here, and we're measuring uh, 117 microvolts peak to peak. And the mean went, uh, you know, the mean uh, supply value went down a little bit due to the uh, uh, you know, voltage division here and, and whatever. But, um, yeah, so we you could go figure out what the uh, relationship between this and 20 millivolts is and, you know, how many factors of attenuation there were. But, uh, you know, the exact number doesn't really matter. It's just It just means that we're, we're killing that high-frequency signal that could be present on our, uh, on our power line. So I just uh, went ahead and, and added the resistor, excuse me, the uh, capacitor here on my radio. Um, I added it actually on the underside. First I used the um, continuity checker on the multimeter to make sure I was poking around at the right pins. And I just soldered in the one microfarad capacitor um, between the uh, plus 12 and, and ground. And um, the, this type of capacitor, I'm not, it's not exactly a, a ceramic, let's see if I can grab one, this one's huge, but a ceramic disc cap like this, which is, is good for AC signals. Uh, this is like a metal foil something something, uh, cubic zirconia, I, I don't know uh, exactly, but uh, they're, they're all kind of used for the same purpose. So uh, you might have a couple of these laying around or you can pick them up for a, a nickel and, uh, and add this in. Uh, and so, like I said, this is one microfarad, but if you, uh, in my simulation, I ran with, with much larger, um, much larger capacitors, and those, those pre present a lower impedance to, um, to the high frequency signals. So if you have a five microfarad or 10 microfarad or something like that, then, um, you could use that as well and it'll, it'll work even better. Uh, but, uh, keep in mind the physical size, like here, I snuck it on the bottom of the board. If I did it on the on the inside where there's more space, I could have gotten away with a bigger one, but uh, I just wanted to add this in there. Uh, for now, I can always add other things. I wanted to leave space to add other things later on or even other capacitors in parallel, which will just increase the capacitance and, and make it work even better. So, uh, uh, But keep in mind, larger capacitors will have larger physical size, so if you want to sneak it in here like I did, you, uh, you might be limited on your, uh, on your footprint based on uh, your, uh, what capacitor value you chose. So. That's about all for now. Uh, I could I could go into the theory here, but we're basically creating a low pass filter with this uh, the resistance of the line and the um, and the capacitor, and we're just caught allowing the the uh, that high frequency signal away to to dump itself to ground, um, and that's what the capacitor is for. So uh, that's about all for now. Hopefully this uh, this was helpful, and this is just a simple project you guys can do on your your own radio. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.